Tokyo with a dominant race, an Olympic record of 48.17, the fourth fastest all time from Cuba, Marily D. Paulino. We'll bring the athletes out now, and we do have to make this a fairly quick press conference to get them to their victory ceremony. Sorry, Dominican Republic, thank you. Sorry, I misspoke. Dominican Republic. Yeah, bring them out. All right, questions, we'll start right here. Uh, Ger Gilroy from Off The Ball in Ireland. It's a question for Salwa Eid Nasser. Um, you served a two-year ban for doping whereabouts offenses, and I'm wondering how are we supposed to believe that you're running clean today? Um, first of all, I want to thank God for this medal. Um, <laughs> being in the podium after serving a ban and uh, passing all of my tests, I really don't have anything to prove to anyone because I'm going to be tested after this conference. Um, I just thank God for the matter, but I have nothing to prove. Thank you. Right here. Oui. Bonsoir, Lucille Descamps du Parisien. Une question pour euh, Marie Lady. Vous avez euh, remporté la médaille d'or, mais vous avez aussi battu le record olympique de Marie-Josée Pérec. Qu'est-ce que ça représente Bueno, para mí significa algo grande, ya que vine por un objetivo y gracias a Dios lo he logrado. Y quiero felicitar a Natalia y a Salwa, que también hicieron un buen trabajo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Gavin Cooney from the 42 in Ireland. A question for Salwa Eid Nasser. Uh, Salwa, given you disrespected the anti-doping, uh, the principle of clean sport and anti-doping by missing four drugs tests in the space of 12 months, do you believe it was fair on, your, on the other athletes that you were allowed to compete tonight? Um, like uh, my drug tests, they were never intentional. I would never want to miss a drug test because I really don't have anything to hide. So they were never intentional, they were just mistakes a normal human being can make. And what I think is not fair is me being banned because I did nothing, it was never intentional. So did me it? being banned was unfair to me, but I thank God I'm, I'm here today. The court of arbitration ruled that you had given untruthful testimony to them. Uh, if you read, if you read um, from um, from going to the wrong door, from um, like going to the wrong address, and um, at that time I was not responsible to like feel my whereabouts information, and them changing a feeling failure to a whereabouts, um, a feeling failure to a mistest. <laughs> Every other athlete in that field tonight did not have the same issues as you had. Do you not feel that that is unfair on them? What is not fair is me being banned. And just one last question. Can I ask perhaps Natalia Kazmarek? I mean, you, congratulations on your bronze medal. It would have been silver had um, Miss Dasner not been competing tonight. Do you believe it was fair that you had to run behind her given the ban? To w takim razie do Natalii szybkie pytanie, gratulacje oczywiście i pytanie, czy swoim zdaniem no to jest fair, bo mogło to być dzisiaj srebro w związku z tymi wszystkimi no, historiami, które są wokół tego zawieszenia twojej rywalki. 
Myślę, że po prostu tutaj byłam trzecia i na ten brąz było mnie stać. Wywalczyłam go na bieżni. Dziewczyny po prostu były lepsze i bardzo im gratuluję. Faktycznie Salwa miała może jakiś problem z antydopingiem, ale też myślę, że odbyła swoją karę, więc wróciła do rywalizacji. Jest testowana tak jak my też mam nadzieję, więc wydaje mi się, że, że jest po prostu czysta, jest fair i przegrałam uczciwie na bieżni. Okay, so now my translation for uh, for English. Uh, first of all, I was first here in this uh, in this competition. All was fair; they were just faster than I was. Uh, perhaps um, Salva had some uh, problems, but uh, now everything is okay. She is clean, and I don't see uh, basically the problem. Any other questions for the women on the podium of the 400 meters? Yes, in the back. Hi, my name is Fentu. I work with uh, Joinees in Accra, Ghana. I have two questions, one for Marilady and one for Salwa. Um, Marilady, what does this victory mean for you and your country? Last year, uh, last time out, obviously you got a silver. Now you are on top of the world. What does it mean for you and your country? Um, and then my question to Salwa, do you have a sense that um, you are probably maybe unfairly targeted? You seem very agitated by all the questions being thrown your way. Do you feel that people are unfairly targeting you? Salwa, let's have you go first and then Mary Lady. Um, because I should have been congratulated first. Um, this is a good moment for me. And asking me if I think it's fair or if I think it's fair to other athletes. Well, I've been tested this year so many times. Before the World Championship in Doha, I was tested um, 20 times and the test came out negative. Af before my race in Doha and after my immediately after my race in Doha, I was tested. I would not say I was targeted, um, but I would surely say they are favorites, and I might not be their favorite, but that's okay. But my talents can never be questioned because I will still be tested after this. It's, I'm just happy to be here to, to get a medal. Thank you. Mary Lady, we'll let you have the last word. This performance, what does it mean to your country? Bueno, eso, eso significa mucho, ya que soy la primera mujer dominicana en obtener un oro olímpico y de verdad que eso le abre la puerta a la juventud que vienen desde abajo como yo inicié. Natalia Kazmarek, Sawa Eid Nasser, Mary Lady Paulino, the podium for the women's 400 meters. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you can leave that here.